Okay, so we have been experimenting with our new uh, Lubrizol E-Stain uh, TPU material. Um, and uh, after our initial testing, we wanted to move on to doing pressure and vacuum testing. So what we have here is a, a TPU, um, I guess for lack of a better term, pressure vessel. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell here, but it is flexible. Um, and we experimented with a whole bunch of different thicknesses of pressure vessel. And the one that we found uh, performed the best and was also the thinnest um, was a pressure vessel with a 0 0.093 inch wall. Um, and so at that wall thickness and with this uh, basic shape right here, um, we pressure tested this material all the way up to 80 PSI. Um, and uh, the video that I'm gonna show of that test um, there was a leak in one of our fittings, so you can see once we isolate it with a valve, um, the pressure is dropping, but it's because we found a leak in this joint right here. Um, we actually did spray soapy water onto the part itself to look for bubbles and uh, didn't find any. So um, as far as pressure goes, uh, you know, uh, uh, 093 uh, wall up to 80 PSI, um, totally held pressure, no issues. We did do a longer 24-hour test um, with this same part um, at 80 PSI after we fixed the leak and uh, it did hold. So another test we've been doing with this Lubrizol uh, E-Stain TPU um, is vacuum, uh, vacuum cup testing. So vacuum in general, um, specifically uh, can we take and, and draw a vacuum on the part and uh, have it hold vacuum? And it does. Uh, it, we've done uh, multiple pressure vessel tests, um, drawing uh, up to, uh, I believe it was 27 inches of mercury, um, and, and isolating it with a valve, and uh, it will hold vacuum for extended periods of time. And then that immediately led to us starting to experiment with uh, suction cups. Considering that you know the other half of our business is all machine design, we get into a fair amount of um, applications for automated equipment involving suction cups or you know all kinds of different vacuum for uh, testing and things like that. So we wanted to uh, design um, our own suction cup um, and see if we could get it to hold up. So this is just a standard. Um, I believe you can call this a double bellow suction cup. Um, and uh, we literally took the design off of one of the major suction cup manufacturers website just as a starting point. Um, we did have to drop the wall thickness a little bit. Um, you know, they're using injection molded I think, silicone or even rubber. Um, this material is stiffer than the, the traditional materials that these parts are made from. So we did have to drop the wall thickness, but uh, once we did that, um, we got a fully functional vacuum cup here that goes on to a standard vacuum cup fitting. Same thing with this uh, single bellows cup. Um, so what I'm going to show you next is a bunch of torture testing that we did, 24-hour um, torture tests where we actually um, uh, draw a vacuum, uh, bring the suction cup down, put a 50% crush on it so it is flexing all the bellows. And then with the vacuum still on, we actually pop it off of the base plate. And so we're, we're, the cylinder's literally ripping it off the base plate 50,000 times. And we're looking for any kind of wear or um, cracking or anything like that in the suction cup. Um, excited to say the material held up beautifully, uh, did not run into any issues. It was still holding vacuum at the end of the testing, just like it was at the beginning. Um, so, you know, a 50,000 cycle uh, test on a, on a you know, 3D printed suction cup um, proved to be viable for both of these designs at 50% crush. So, pretty exciting results.